Welcome back to Educator.com. We're now going to look at a few more examples using uh, trying to find the confidence interval for the population mean when the population's standard deviation is unknown. So in this first example, suppose we have only 10 scores representing the ages of randomly selected US commercial aircraft. And those ages are in years. The mean of these 10 planes is 14.25 years, and the standard deviation is 9.35 years. Assuming that the ages of the aircraft are normally distributed, so we're sampling from a normal distribution, find a 95% confidence interval for the mean age of all commercial aircraft. So the first thing we're told is that n equals 10. Well, from that, I could get my degrees of freedom, which are going to be 9. From that sample of 10, my mean is 14.25. So that means x bar is 14.25. And the standard deviation for those 10 observations is going to be 9.35. Now, we're working with 95% confidence. So that means alpha is 0 0.05. But because I'm working with a confidence interval, I'm more concerned with alpha over 2, which is 0 0.025. So now the equation that we're going to be using, we have x bar plus or minus t of 0 0.025 and 9 degrees of freedom times s over the square root of n. OK, so x bar we found to be 14.25. I go down to where there's 9 degrees of freedom whatever that row is, then I go across to the column that says 0 0.025, and you should get for your value of t 2.262. Then we multiply that by 9.35 over the square root of 10. So this gives me here 14.25 plus or minus when I plug all that in to a calculator, 2.3, yikes, looking at the wrong one, we have 6.6881. So now I subtract that from the mean and add it to the mean, and we get a confidence interval of 7.619 and 20.938. So if we're trying to interpret that, we would say with 95% confidence, the mean age of all US commercial aircraft is between 7.5619 and 20.9381 years.